everyone, I hope you're all fantastic. We're on the Axe FX3 today and I want to dial in some wonderfully plastic sounding 80s inspired rack tones on here. Uh, yeah, fantastic, plastic. This is either gonna be your favorite guitar tone in the universe or your idea of hell, uh, depending on what era you grew up in. Uh, but for me, this is one of my favorite guitar tones of all time. and kind of cool to see people getting back on board with the rack inspired tones you know a little bit of plastic in your life to kind of offset all those organic analog inspired tones is not a bad thing in my opinion anyway we've got kind of two things in the grid right here i'm going to call this my kind of raw amp tone up here and down here we've got the rack of doom as you can see a chorus block a flanger two reverbs pitch delay, two multi-delays, and a couple of mixes. The way I've set this up is that my dry tone comes through here, gets sent out to the rack, and then that comes back in parallel and gets blended with a few other blocks if I want uh, to kind of create this marvelous plastic tone. But I have disabled this return block here. So all we're gonna hear is just the dry tone at the moment. I'm using the Band Commander app model, totally stock settings, and I'm running it into a cab but I have loaded up the null IR, the totally flat IR. So really there's no cab simulation here. This is kind of uh, trick number one in getting this tone. But the reason I've used a cab block and not just run it all the way through is because I'm using the built-in cab block preamp emulation. So I'm using a transformer preamp type, high quality mode. I've added a bunch of drive and saturation and a bit of treble there. Then in front of the amp, I'm slamming it with a studio compressor. And after the amp, I've got a multi-band compressor. Shout out uh, to Rocco Pezin. You should definitely go and check out his YouTube channel. Incredible player, great tones, uh, just top tier content. And I totally stole these compressor settings from him. Another shout out to my buddy, Mark Pritchard, because I'm fairly certain he put up a Van Halen preset a little while ago with very similar multi-band settings, and they sound fantastic. So we'll have a listen to what it sounds like without the multi-band and then with it. Uh, the multi-band is really just gonna provide this kind of pumping effect that, uh, you know, the DBX-160 was a really popular compressor for guitar racks back in the day, and it does that. And I haven't done any playing yet. What are we doing here? Let's have a listen to this thing. So no multi-band and then multi-band. <laughs> So essentially what the multiband's doing in this high band anyway is it's stopping uh, that really, really harsh DI thing you get out of a guitar amp with no cabinet simulation. And then it's just basically pumping the mid range there uh, by hitting it with some compression. So that's pretty cool. And then this studio feed forward compressor is it's just absolutely taking all the dynamics out. <laughs> which is a big part of the plastic sound. So compression, uh, basically using an amp block with no IR at all, a little bit of preamp simulation, and a little bit of multiband compression. That gets us the clean tone, but the real fun is with the effects. So I'm gonna engage this return right here. And the first thing is, of course, the stereo tri-chorus. This is where I've dialed it in. I've just kind of set all the knobs around one or two o'clock. Uh, the nice thing about the Axe FX tri-chorus is you can actually tweak the delay time as well. But uh, let's have a listen to this magic tri-chorus. <laughs> There's so much of the sound right there, but uh, the ultimate 80s trick was to use chorus, especially a tri-chorus or like a TC-1210, and combine it with some stereo detune. I'm using the dual detune. These are the infamous Mike Landau SPX-90 detune settings, and we get this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Beautiful. So tri-chorus, stereo detune. We should add some reverb right here. And I've based this on an old uh, Bradshaw diagram. I think it was of Mike Landau's racks or one of his racks uh, where like the reverb is before the delays, which I thought was interesting. So using the concert hall reverb, now we get some ambience. <laughs> That's unbelievable. We're going to expand on that in just a minute. Then we've got a mixer section in here. What I've done is assigned some of these, if you see right click, to the manual controllers there. Then I've assigned the manual controllers to the perform screen over here. So I can just get the perform screen on my Axe FX3, which you can't see at the moment. If I want to adjust the mix of the reverb or the detune, I can do it with a knob right there. So it kind of acts like a kind of master mixer there, which is really, really nice. We can add some delay. I'm using the digital stereo type with uh, 350 milliseconds of delay and the left right time ratio at 75%. It adds this. <laughs> It's all so bright and marvelous. And we're going to come back to uh, these multi delays right here. So that's kind of a, just the straight up classic style, like tri chorus, bit of detune and reverb, bit of delay happening there. Uh, what I've done though is rather than just try to recreate something, I really wanted to make use of the Axe FX's power to kind of take this to another dimension. So on scene two, uh, all this stuff is the same. I've added a flanger in parallel to my chorus. This is based off the SPX90 symphonic setting that I matched. And then you'll notice that uh, we've got a pair of the concert hall reverbs, uh, but this one has the right input selected and is panned right. And this one has the left input selected and is panned left because these effects are stereo. I want to maintain that stereo image going through the reverb. Uh, furthermore, with the pitch detune, rather than just use a dual detune, I've gone with a quad detune. Uh, we've got the same digital stereo delay, and then we've got uh, a pair of multi tap delay blocks set exactly the same. Similar to the reverbs, though, we've got the right input selected and panned right, and these are copying the circular delays from the Lex PCM 70s. So, all true stereo. And then we've got more dual detune over here. Let's hear it without the dual detune first, though. <laughs> Utterly obscene. I love that so much. Uh, I've gone on to scene three and done a similar thing, but we're adding in a Plex detune, and then I'm using the TC2290 delay instead of uh, the, what was I using, the stereo digital before. So uh, let's have a listen to this right now. <laughs>
like I said earlier, this is either your idea of heaven or your idea of hell with these type of tones. But I figure while you're going there, why not just absolutely overdo it? Uh, of course, I've got some filth happening on one of the scenes. Uh, I'm actually using a cab here, one of my own cabinet IRs. Of course, I'm using the USA lead mid gain. Uh, multi bands off, compressors off. Uh, this just kind of sounds like some like early 90s art or Digitech preamp. Uh, like I said, it's either heaven or it's either hell for you, but this is what it sounds like. <laughs> Listen to that decay as well. Uh, the nice thing is having control with an expression pedal on this return level means I can go from this and I can overdo it just slightly less. Uh, there's one last scene on here as well, where I think I've changed out the flanger for, uh, yeah, so what's going on here with the flanger, I copied the flanger settings from my TC GeForce, and then the chorus, well, this should be changed over to the Dimension 2 chorus. If you uh, have seen the little Boss DC2 Wazza, I copied that off there. So there's just a bunch of effect emulations going on in here. Quad D tune, all the other good stuff, and I think it's back to a clean sound. Well, I hope it's back to a clean sound. Oh, and there's crystal echoes. So uh, yeah, I will put this ridiculous preset up on Axchange if you want to try it. And I think I'll play you all out. I just unplugged my guitar. So I'm going to plug that back in, and I'm going to play you all out with some of this ridiculous patch. Uh, thanks so much for watching. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. Uh, pro tip, you turn the tuner on. This is going to be a whole lot easier with my guitar actually plugged in. So I will say thank you for watching the video. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments. And I hope you all have a great day. See you soon. Thank you.